Hello, my minions. This is Clavicus, and turn 40, and for once, I am not the last person. Second last, but moving up in the world. Um, turn 40, my EA Pangea Let's Play. Um, things are definitely starting to spice up now. Um, let's uh, see what happened. Maythra has successfully empowered herself in air. Peter Pangea has cast Reaches from Beneath. Fantastic. Didn't find any sights. There was a battle in a main, so... Ooh, Hinom. Naughty, naughty. There's a battle in a main. Let's have a look. So this is probably just my little raiding party. Ooh, up against 50 militia. Oh, shit, shit. <laughs> Did they all get fucking blessed? No, fuck. I should have had them on hold. <laughs> oh. Hopefully. It's pretty bad without them having the. And he just blesses himself. Mm. I mean, they should still win. Because these little militias are shit. <laughs> Only I would have liked to have had them all blessed. I'd feel much safer. And are they running already? Come on, you call that a fight? That's not a fight. This is a fight. That's my uh, Crocodile Dundee reference, and it's not even right. Um, mm. Well, at least I can recuperate, but I've got a never healing wound, a never healing wound that is going to heal. Events in Myrotrand. My farmers have angered a vengeful en entity of the wild. Someone is definitely fucking casting wild boar on me. <sighs> and it started to piss me off. Large number of people have worshipped a false pretender. Trolls living under bridges have killed and eaten travellers. That's not very nice. Handful of earth gems, that's good because I had been spending a bit. A sneaking enemy. Let's see if they got them set to retreat. No, they don't. Come on, you can kill them. running yet. He's got some balls of steel, this cunt, eh? Got some balls of steel. I would be fucking running if I was him. <laughs> and we've showed that. Dude, he killed one of my archers. How did he kill one of my archers? How the hell did that happen? I actually do want to know how they. Oh, no, wait. How the fuck did one of my archers die? I do not understand. So these are my archers here. How did one of these archers die? What? Ah, I don't know. Don't care enough. It just seems a bit bizarre. Patrolling troops in Namekria have killed nine filthy brigands, and the land is orderly. We have killed 24 filthy brigands, and there are many more to be eliminated. And Roos has been permanently vanquished. Okay. So here we're patrolling. And. We are trying to, because somebody has cast that stupid fucking wild boar on me. I'm going to have a look. 
go to have a look. And where they cast it here. Where's the other one? Where was the one just then? So here, here, and Myrotron. There. There, there, and there. It's probably got to be like. I don't think Formoria's got access to. Um. Yeah, they do. Okay, so they do have some nature. It's most likely Formoria. Um, because. You know, it really could be Agatha. I don't think it could be Hinnom. Like they do have access to the nature, but I don't think Hinnom would be able to cast the one here. Because I think him for more might would have been out may have, I don't know. I mean, you can never prove it as well, right? You can never prove it, but you can you know, Arco. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past being Arco at all, but I think Arco could cast the one here, from here, um, but that's a temple, is it? I'm thinking that's probably a, t a temple, not a lab, but what's the range? What is the range on this spell? Who's casting this bloody wild boar on me? Giant boar? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Boar. Or is it a conjuration? Monster boar, that's the one. So it's conjuration five, yeah, okay. So I don't have it. Monster boar. Range is five province, provinces. So, one, two. Yeah, it could. It could definitely be Arco. I reckon it's there. I reckon it's got to be Arco. I think maybe I should start casting some back at him. I spoke to Arco and he says that he's about to jump on this province with an army that he believes will be able to take it. But the army must be here. I did see that he had a bit of an army. That was there. Was it there? Yeah, it was there. I'm just gonna sneak off here or something. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that Arco is going to be um, the next, um, the next um, people that I jump on. I want to see whether the war between Abyssia and Arco has begun yet. So I guess that's probably somewhere over this direction. Um, Start. Let's have a look. See then. So I'm just want to. I want to start. You know, scouting out my borders with Arco more, um, and also checking on the war status. Um, but I'm thinking when I invade him, if I do, and I'm thinking I'll elf. Maybe I could elf him a bit, like like I did, um, just as like um, with Fomori, just disrupt his economy. Thinking maybe I might be able to take advantage of this battle and jump on here. I've only got a nap two with with Arco. Um, I'll need to speak to Abyssia and see if that war has um, has begun. Um, 
But yeah, so I want to scout out. But yeah, I could send an army in from here and from here. Um, mean on. Fucking look at this unrest. Okay, so. He can um patrol, and he can patrol, and Corey can keep on searching, doing his magic site searching. Hammond. Let's have a look. Hammond can go there. So, so everything's just gonna take so long. Okay. Chronicles. So Chronicles is my site searcher, and unfortunately he didn't find anything. Maybe he would have found something if I'd put my um I'll get Ural to come along here and he can build a temple lab there. Um, Chronicles. He can keep on this site searching. It's super important to um, site search thrones. I think like throne provinces have a much higher chance of having magic sites. Chronicles can move up here. I'm thinking I've got a spare pan here, don't I? Okay, finally. So this is now, these are both under my dominion, so. But the spare pan that I had here. Can he move there in one turn? So I'll move him there just so that he's looking after this fort. And this guy is fucking useless. Can't find anything. <laughs> um, Tinkerbell. Um. I guess I'm kind of happy with him here for now. He can preach. Okay, so Amidon, maybe he can go back. Maybe he can go there. Oh, I thought I would have had another um, dude here. So this this guy here. Anyway, he's got some of these dudes which I don't really want him to have. Doesn't need them. He can. Well, I guess he can. Guess you can have some. Guess it doesn't do any harm. This is a shitload of these cunts. Um, he can forge magic item monthly forging. Alquil. That's basically all I wanted him for. Um, maybe also Ring of Tamed Lightning could be good for lightning resistance if I need that later. So now, we'll just go, um, Alquils. And I get five a month, so he'll be able to, he'll be able to forge an Alquil every month. That's good, I was getting four a month, I thought, last time I checked. Oh, is that, could that be my riches from beneath? No. So I'm the only one with global enchantments up, so that makes me feel pretty fucking hardcore. Um, so here we want to recruit as many of these dudes as we can which I'm already doing um, maybe I'd like to get some more of these minotaurs fucking hell so these minotaurs combined with say like a mass protection or I mean a massive generation or something like that would be pretty bomber um, let me have a think then. I would like to. Let's just have a look. Can this guy go there in one turn? No. So I'm, I think I want to get a parent for this fort because I'm going to get um, Urail to come along and build uh, you know, some shit there. Probably recruit Pan here. Um, if I'm going to be going up in battle against um, that siege defense, 
So that's 20 gold for 0 0.7 siege defense. This is 9 gold for 0 0.3. This will be, eh, it's about the same. I think this is just half a defense more. Um, 16. And these will be 7. Yeah, so these dudes are still better. Better. Better CGs. Um, I'm thinking I just want to you know, start building up some siege defense or whatever. Um, so we'll pump, pump some of these dudes out. I'm building up some siege defense here because, you know, this is going to be on the front line of anything um, between me and Arco. And I've been also been thinking here, you know, fair enough, there is a little bit um, to go on. Adonis. Yeah, fuck. I'm starting to get like a lot of sort of like armies things that I'm going to have to um, try to um, integrate and things. Now I should have a researcher here. Let's rename this guy. This, this lady. Matha. Maker of the quills. There we go. You've got one job. Let's just churn out our quills. Silenius. He can search for some magic sites. I think I will... I will... But I will end this turn at some point, but I won't submit it. I really want to be able to, I want to talk to Abyssia. No, I'll wait. I want to wait until... I want to wait until... Because I'm starting to think I need to at some point. Um, let's get some more... Scouts as well. I've been meaning to do this. Ooh, we can get two. I'll get three. No. Um, been meaning to get some uh, more scouts. Um, yeah, because I'm going to need to f finish my nap with um, um, Arco at some point. So I need to talk to both Hinom. Because Hinom wants to go and jump Arco, and Abyssia wants to jump Arco. And I, at court, I spoke to um, Vanheim, and they were saying that Abyssia was already at war with Arco. Um, so I, I'm also going to pile in um, on the Arco bandwagon. Um, but I don't want to tell him that I'm stopping my nap before he jumps on this, um, because then he might not. And then that will just muddy all the water and stuff where... And this will be a fairly taxing battle on him, I'm, I'm hoping. So I'll wait until he jumps on it. And maybe until he takes it. And then I'll maybe finish the nap. And then I'll try and take it off him. And maybe he won't be able to um, defend it in time. That's kind of my thinking. And then that will give me... That will make me a two-cap nation pretty quickly. Um, which will be a huge advantage. So I'm thinking for my bulk of my push into Arco. Um, it will be sort of like... On this sort of battlefront but then we'll also need to push through um, through here as well to make sure that I'm defending my um, my eastern flank um, from Arco as well so I'll probably just build some more of these dudes as well I'm just a little bit worried that this is now such a huge um, research center of mine but I don't want it to fall um, which I'm a little bit worried may happen, uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to be risky if I go to battle with Arco, and if Arco takes this, and this is like all this research, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 130, 40, 130 at this point in time for research, it's like a good quarter of my research, right? Um, how is my research coming along? Gonna be good, gonna be good. Getting there, getting there. Look at all my fucking water. Um, what can we do with some of that? 
Um, maybe I kind of want some more um, druids. I don't have any more gold. Just going to recruit a Hierophant there. Oh, that slow recruit here? That's fucking shit. I don't want to s recruit a slow to recruit Hierophant. Um, e main. <coughs> so, yeah, he can just sneak off um, this way. Sneaky, sneaky. Don't see. Don't see Fomoria jumping on here because they're in a. You know they're in a good position at the moment. Thinking maybe I want these dudes more up here because then they're going to have less um, obstacles to get through. When they charge off. And what should we do with. I think I want to get Ladinia. To do something. I guess she can sneak over here. I do have a nap though. I do have a nap so at this point in time. Yeah, no. In fact, I'll get Ladinia just to come here. You know what? I'm going to move my entire army back there for now. I can keep an eye on this still. Um, I have it on good authority that... Um, um, Arco is going to um, jump on this next turn. He told me so. So if he didn't, if he doesn't, then that will, you know, that could be a good enough reason for me to to go to war with him. I think. I mean, I, I'm just looking for a reason to be, um, to be honest. Um, I'd still need to end the nap. Um, but if he does, you know, like these dudes, I still want to keep this army sort of on this front because this is going to be my main my main push into Arco. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I'm not talking to myself. So this is going to be my main push into Arco. Um, but, you know, I've got two pans here and these dudes that can all, um, that can all research. So I'm going to, I'll pull them back here. Maybe even to there. Um, and yeah, pulling them to there might be well, because no, I'll pull them to here because there's no temp, there's no um, lab and stuff there yet. So I'll pull them to there. Um, they could um, research away and stuff, and maybe that's a good point. Maybe I might just pull him in there as well and get him. Um, well, research too. Now I'll, I'll sneak him. I'll have him just sneak off, sneak off and away. Um, yeah, I'll do a lot more scouting with these scouts that I'm just pumping out um, of here. Try and basically scout out the entirety of Arco's lands um, so that I can see all of his armies moving around and things like that. Um, can't believe I'm the only person with global enchantments up. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, Peter Pangea, he can research. Sarpedon. He can wear these boots. Now, at this point in time, do I want to empower Sarpaton? He's got plenty of age left. He's not a blood two. I'm thinking that if I empower him in death, might be a good way to go. This is going to cost me a shitload of fucking gems, though. It's 
got to be done though. So I will empower him in death, and then and he becomes a a very um, important mage for me. Um, then I'm doing that so that then he can just um, he can raise um, the armies of the dead. So maybe I might like this would be you know this is a fairly valuable um, province for me because of all of these. Um, uh, it's not this one. I always get confused. It's this one that's got the 10,000 things. So this is a very valuable province for me as well. Um, but yeah. I'm thinking... And I, I'm going to... Because I'm going to need to get a lab um, set up in order to cast... Um, um, to get those uh, undead armies and stuff. So maybe I'll want to target this province as well. I think I also, you know, need like a temple down here to help sort of um, push out my, do my, my dominion a bit. Um, speaking of which, no, I've got nobody ready to do it there. Like I should start thinking about blood sacrificing um, around here just to help push out my dominion and, you know, what, um, if Arco isn't successful for Moria, you could be looking at, like, say, Dom killing them um, and things like this, which, you know, is all in favour of me moving these dudes back. Okay. Clytonmeister. So Clytonmeister. I'm fairly happy with Clytonmeister being there. Except that, you know, he might face a higher chance. What's may face a higher chance of um, getting caught so maybe I'll maybe I don't want him to actually like necessarily sit on um, uh, like a forted province but maybe I'll, maybe I'll just go there with him yeah, so that's gonna be my turn for now um, There's one more thing that I may as well do. I am, I am annoyed. A blessing. We don't need all of this. Well. send um, him down there to help patrol away um, to help patrol away all this crap um, oh, I need to patrol here as well and here yeah, all this unrest these bloody monster boars it's definitely Arco hey so I reckon I'm going to Get some little revenge on that. Oh, I don't have the. I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have conjuration. Otherwise, I would be casting it on him right there. Uh, that's all right. Um. So we got like, you know, it's not really. Forest dome. Vegetation will grow into a dome that covers the entire province. That blocks friendly spells. Does the dome of arcane warding friendly spells will also be blocked? Oh, okay. So yeah, so you, you can cast these spells to sort of um, protect about against um, you know enemy spells targeting you, but it's probably not um, not worth it. I could like evil star him and I wouldn't be 
I guess I'll just... Uh, how long does Evil Star last for? Yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, cast Ritual. Baleful Star. The cast invites the, ma the great Maleficent and forces of the Evil Star to take a conjunction position in the heavens above one province, causing unfortunate events and evil deeds to occur. Anyone supposed to the Evil Star risk getting cursed for the rest of his life. Do I have seven actual pearls? Well, three at the moment. I could easily just... I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, I'm going to. Just for the sake of it. I'm... Uh, no, because then I'd lose my research. I'm not going to. I'm thinking I was like to cast this on... On, um... Arco. Um, but at the end of the day, it would have to be my Peter Pangea that casts it, and then that's losing 40 research. So, that's just like 10% of my research. So, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll suck it up for now. Um, but it's definitely a bit of a resource drain when someone just keeps casting fucking wild boar at you. Alright, so that is the end of my turn. I'm going to mark it as um, unfinished and exit and awaiting um, some Diplo and stuff um, with Arco, Hinom, and, well, really with Hinom and Abyssia. Okay, this is Clavius signing off. Um, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. See ya.